Well, the blight is endless as we tried to find a starting point for the next video and it's just every time you think you have one, you drive 20 feet and you see something else. So we figured we'd just stop and start a new one and uh, we'll figure out. We're just doing this on the fly. So there's another place that's empty over there like the stairwell's falling apart and windows are all boarded up and, you know, nice solid brick structure that people up here just found a way to tear down. Anyway, this is like formerly some kind of a recycling place and I mean, it almost looks like Nagasaki or something, like like somebody dropped a bomb in here. We're on the corner of Willis and uh, Grandy in Detroit. Well, we don't even need to say we're still in Detroit. Where else could we be that looks like this? Again, the Motor City, here you go. About probably a hundred tires sitting here. They've probably had some kind of a neighborhood cleanup and just. What do you think, man? You want to buy some property up here, man? Absolutely. Some tennis not. shoes and Joseph Campo is another street. And here's some more. Yeah, like I said, we're just we're just we're just rolling, man. Can't can't really go wrong any. Any, any street we go down, we'll see the same thing. Here's a see-through house here. And right next door, it looks like somebody lives there. Maybe, I don't know. I can't, can't totally tell. Which way were we going to go down? This way? There's a car there sitting on two flats. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a school down here. We want to take a look at the school. We went by it earlier. There's one there. I can't tell if anyone lives there, but yeah, look at this school. Yeah. This is like a high school that was closed. I know they've closed a lot of the schools in the Detroit area. I don't know what percent, but here's another one. <laughs> look at that garage just like collapsed. You can see all the graffiti, all the windows and doors have been ripped off that school. The basketball court's still there. It looks like that was like their football field or something. But yeah, we're back on the infamous Mac. We are definitely in what would be considered the hood, I guess, is what they call this type of stuff. And we're there. There's just empty lot after empty lot after empty lot. It's just endless. Can we pull up in there? Yeah, I think we can get up in there. So here's another abandoned house here. Might as well pull up in there. We'll get a look at this high school and then that'll be pretty much it for this one. I don't even know what to say. Oh, there's Gasm, the graffiti guy. My buddy looked him up on uh, Google, and I guess he's some kind of famous graffiti artist up here. See so, yeah, how the school they. There was a fence here, and looks like somebody stole the fencing. I'm not surprised. And it's just like wide open. You can just walk right, right through the old school if you wanted to. Yep. There's a television somebody tossed out. <laughs> There's the front entrance to this old school. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too much. My goodness. So if you ever get a chance to come to Detroit, don't just do all the typical tourist stuff. Make sure you come around here and check out some of this stuff too because 
you're really missing out on on seeing some stuff that you can't really see anywhere else but here. So I think that's about it for this one. We'll probably have another one in a few minutes. Well, spoke too soon. There's a mattress and a couch and another television. <laughs> that's it for this one.